Good evening. Uh, this is the September 13, 2017 meeting of the Urban Conservation Commission. This meeting is being broadcast live, maybe? Or it's certainly being recorded for rebroadcast. Uh, the meeting can be viewed at the town website, urbanguide.com. Before we begin tonight's meeting, I'm required to ask if anyone in the audience is making a recording of this meeting. Okay. There being no indication that uh, recording is taking place. The first item on tonight's agenda is a 7 p.m. public hearing, uh, a notice of intent submitted uh, on behalf of Casella Waste Management um, relative to work at 15 Hard Scrabble Road in Auburn, Mass. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. I thought he was leaving. I thought he was too. Yeah. Something, something I said. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you said something, we didn't hear it. Yeah. I can't do this on my own, Michael. <laughs> and if you could just identify yourselves for the record, please. Sure. Uh, my name is Mike Walsh of the Walsh Engineering Associates. I'm uh, here representing Casella, obviously. And this is uh, Paul Degman, who is the general manager of the uh, Auburn facility. Very good. This is a, a continuation, I guess, that we submitted an RDA, I think most of you uh, remember, and uh, for this work. So I'll try to just do maybe a general overview. That's fine. Um, try not to re repeat myself too much, and then address maybe some of the questions that were asked previously. And, uh, and obviously, try to answer any questions that uh, you may have. So, <clears throat> again, this is. Um, the uh, Casella Transfer Station at 15 Hard Scrabble Road, uh, just off of West Street. Uh, we, uh, the general description of the project is, um, well, I'll show you again, I guess. This is Hard Scrabble Road here. Uh, Dark Brook Reservoir is in this direction to the east. Uh, this is a, a mapped uh, wetland here. This is the 100-foot BBW border. Um, it doesn't approach a portion of the site. Um, this, this area represents the, the approximate areas of, of work, uh, which includes um, two units to uh, provide filtration to roof drainage on the site. Um, this is the, the building on site, and uh, this is what we're trying to address is a galvanized roof, roof and its runoff, which we've identified as having uh, elevated zinc concentrations in the storm. <clears throat> so what we've done is, is really select two uh, proprietary units. This shows you a little closer view maybe of, of the units. Uh, so the building has two separate drainage areas from the roof. All of it is piped towards uh, subgrade piping. Uh, downspouts are directly tied into it. Um, there's a system that collects here and runs directly to this end, the south end of the detention pond on site and a portion of the roof on this side um, drains in this direction to the uh, north end of the, uh, of the detention pond. Um, these two units would be uh, uh, positioned below grade to intercept that piping, provide treatment prior to discharge to the pond. <clears throat> so you can you know, generally see uh, what we expect for disturbance. This may be somewhat conservative, uh, one of the things, we have surveyed the lines, but it's, it's not 100% accurate on, on depth and so forth. So we may need to chase this piping a certain distance, uh, maybe uh, close to the pond itself. Um, we did make some changes in this to shift from the RDA submission. We moved this unit slightly towards the building uh, and reorientated it to better uh, intercept uh, existing piping. Uh, and try to stay away from getting into the pond, ex having to excavate that floor to be able to catch up to the piping, if you will, um, with, with better grade access or better changing grade to uh, intercept the existing piping and not disturb that area. The, uh, 
So as you can imagine, there's there's no real change to the drainage areas on site. Uh, this is existing drainage from the roof itself. Uh, there's no ins installation that these units shouldn't affect pre or post discharge of stormwater from the site, uh, except for the fact, obviously, the benefit of treating it to remove zinc uh, from, from roof runoff. The filters that are being used, uh, what's your proposed maintenance schedule for those? So, I had discussions with, with the manufacturer. I know you'd asked uh, about that in the previous meeting. They define it generally as a five to seven year maintenance cycle. And there's three different levels. Um, they have kind of a periodic cleaning, they call it scraper or topper. Um, and I guess I'll take a step back to the units. If you can think of a cross section, these are just vaults essentially with media filled in it. Um, maybe I'd have to try to get the detail up here that you can see. It's going to be hard for you to see it from a distance. But. So this is a plan view. I think we talked about this a little bit before. But this is the inlet side where you have a six inch perforated pipe, distribution pipe, that'll disperse stormwater, untreated stormwater, onto the media. There's geotextile, geotextile fabric to reduce scouring and so forth. And that is the section of media. You can kind of see it in the profile here if you can see that, that bar, um, which includes an upper layer of, of inert media, uh, really kind of similar to a sand filter. So it's two different gradations. It's nine inches thick. And so the upper six inches is a more coarse uh, media uh, for physical filtration, just to remove sediment and so forth. And then a, a little bit finer uh, media in the, in the next three inches. And then another 12 inch section below provides the metals treatment. Uh, so those are two different proprietary substances that they use. Mm -hmm. uh, my best guess is that uh, they are, uh, they're both six inches. The upper is a, a mineral type, it's a zeolite likely, I don't know for sure, but probably a zeolite or mineral. And so there's a chemical reaction with metals, including zinc and ion exchange that it adsorbs to the, to the minerals and locks it in. And then the lower uh, six inches, the bottom six inches, is a probably an activated carbon type material. Uh, and that's really for adsorption. It's got a large surface area, it tends to hold particles in it. Uh, treatment prior to discharge out of the system and then to the pond. So uh, you say it's a five to seven year maintenance uh, schedule or cycle? Right. So when um, the system is ready to be uh, maintained, if you will, is that material just removed and replaced with new material? Yeah, I, and that's why I went to that long uh, description. Uh, the most frequent uh, maintenance is that upper uh, layer for, for filtration. Uh, so that upper nine inches, that coarse layer, um, they call it topper material, that the likely uh, situation is you come in and remove that three inches um, and replace it with clean material mm -hmm. and remove accumulated sediment. Um, so they expect three to four of those iterations over a five to seven year maintenance cycle. Okay. Uh, and how about the material at the bottom? That they predict is in that five to seven year is a one time, if you were to have to go in and fully replace the material, mm -hmm. uh, all layers, that would occur likely once in a five to seven year period, depending on you know, sediment loads and so forth, mm -hmm. uh, depending on your site. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit you know, undetermined on, on what your schedule would be, but if you assume a five year cycle rather than a seven year. Do it. Yeah, you know, you can. It'd be a subcontractor. Okay. Um, yeah. They will. They will be on site to, to set up the system, uh, yeah. to start up the system with us, provide training, to sell, sell employees. How would you know that? How would you know when it needed the maintenance? I think you answered that. You didn't know. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. That question came up before, and it's not a simple answer. Except um, there's the obvious testing, right? There's effluent testing pre and post to understand what the removal efficiencies are. How often is that? What it have to do with how it was set up, how the, you said in the beginning they would be setting up a certain cycle of maintenance, or is that correct? Yeah, yeah, so I think that the biggest risk is probably, you know, more frequent risk is, is the fact of sediment clogging up your system. Right. 
and, and not allowing it to flow through the system as designed. <coughs> so that's where that removal and replacement comes in, into place. Uh, so anyways, there's so there's a potential to fully remove that if you have issues over time where you see treatment isn't quite what it should be. But there's also a situation where you may not get the, the flow through the system because of that blinding of, of the material. Uh, and that's sort of an observational thing to say, okay, is there static water after a rain event, is there static water that's not draining, say, within 24 hours through the system, through the unit and out? Uh, so it's a combination of, problem, of testing, observations, and there's a few other things they look, you know, we look for based on training, but it's the scum line and things like that to say, okay, is there the potential where this thing isn't draining properly and therefore not doing its job? Would it be pop? Possible for you to provide us with um, a copy of the policy that you just talked about, recognizing that perhaps it isn't hasn't been reduced to writing. Yeah, you know, you know, I'd ask them for a. They don't have a standard maintenance manual, mm -hmm. but had conversations and and, uh, and and a few emails back and forth. So I can try to summarize what they provided to me that would at least describe those uh, the typical maintenance schedule. Okay. How, how often are you sampling the Well, we we sample quarterly based on the on the site permit. So we would conduct sampling at that time at a minimum. We would sample quarterly to understand how it's going. And so when and how do you do the sampling? So another question that came up um, last time and I didn't answer very well. Um, so sampling. Generally, is, is in accordance with the multi-sector general permit that EPA issues, so it is required quarterly. Um, they are grab samples, and there's a few conditions on it. Um, one is that it cannot have discharged, stormwater cannot have discharged from the site or from the outfall of the site within 72 hours. So they obviously don't want you sampling when there's been consistent rain and right. therefore contaminants, although they want to get a worst case scenario. So they, that's one condition. The other condition is that it's a grab sample taken within 30 minutes of discharge. So that's the requirement for the actual outfall. This is kind of, you know, maintenance sampling. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I think we do it, cons you know, in that same time frame. Uh, I can't guarantee that the sampling for the unit itself would be in the first minute of discharge from the pond, but it would be shortly after. Our focus is on the compliance sample when our subcontractor is there to sample. But their next step is to go get some background samples or maintenance samples at that time, so just after. So they would just be grab samples uh, pre and post um, at the time of, of sampling on the site on a quarterly basis. Okay. Does that answer the question? Yeah, I think it does. Any other questions? How, how much below grade are these vaults? The, uh, the vaults themselves, at least the interior, well, I guess the total dimension is five feet in height. Uh, the concrete bottom and top and sides are, are four inches each, so it's five foot eight. Yeah. Um, so there won't be much depth below grade. Yeah. Um, it'll probably be a foot or two below grade, but not the vault itself. <coughs> the manholes obviously will be set at grade. There's, uh, there are two manholes. This shows one. This is typical drawing. But so you could look right in that manhole and see what's going on there. Yeah. So there's two 30-inch uh, openings, two 30-inch manholes, uh, to be able to effectively get in, inspect, and maintain if you need to. And so, you know, the the, the initial uh, maintenance or frequent maintenance of topper or removal is manual, likely. You know, kind of get in, rake it out make sure that you remove what you can in the top three inches um, and replace it. If it was a full, um, you know, replacement, then that would likely be done with a vacuum-type truck, back truck, to be able to pull the entire contents out and then start again, going out with the media. Okay. Can you remind me again where this all began? Um, what, how did you guys get to this point, I guess? Yeah, so there's a, so EP has a, a a permit program, the multi-sector general permit for industrial facilities. Um, for stormwater? For stormwater, exactly. And uh, so certain industrial sectors are, are categorized. This, they call it sector N uh, for recycling and waste facilities, I think it is. Uh, and so there's certain constituents that you need to monitor for them. Um, so one is, is zinc. And so we had elevated levels of zinc, so we start backtracking saying, okay, what is the source? Uh, 
it's not the only source, but it is a predominant source on site uh, and one so we can easily address. Uh, we're doing other things like sweeping, like catch basin inserts, like check surface check dams. We're doing uh, multiple things, active BMPs, but we're at a point with zinc where we want to address it with something. Uh, Have any of the other contaminants exceeded the levels? Yeah, it's, you know, at times some have. The metals seem to be more challenging uh, for these sites. Um, copper is one that's challenging. Zinc is one. And um, iron tends to be one that can, at times, exceed, exceed right. a lot. Didn't you put in a oil water separator? What did you put in last year? Put an oil water separator, separator right? right. right. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that replaced an existing uh, unit. Um, see it it's, uh, so this this system this roof drainage happens to bypass it for obvious reasons you're not likely to have oil on your roof and migrating uh, through that but it's located on the south end of the of, of the pond okay. here I was wondering what that was okay yeah so um, the improvements we made in addition you may remember we've got a couple additional structures uh, one with a hood uh, and both with deep sumps uh, prior to the water separator and we better control the, the design flows, the inlet flows, um, to allow it to operate as it should. I think it's a 12 GPM max capacity. And, um, we did a, a better job, uh, in my opinion, of, of making sure that the throughput is, is within those limits. And we're seeing the results of that. So this, like we're t what we're talking about today, doesn't interact with the whole water separate, but it all ends up in that detention pond. Is there any surface water sampling of the wetland that this discharges to? There, there is, uh, as part of um, the site assignment, there is a requirement to sample um, across the road. So the ultimate discharge, that this pond ends up discharging to the uh, uh, municipal system on the street. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two catch basins here on Hartsfelder Road, and it discharges across the street into the wetland. Um, so there is a, uh, a requirement to sample that on a uh, semi-annual basis. Starting with the system or there has been all along? It's been for some time. Okay. Uh, I, I, I believe it was in the original site assignment for the facility, which was prior to Casella, but that was uh, 1995. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. And any major issues with those results? No, that's, that's, it's been pretty consistent and the constituents to monitor our, our total suspended solids and total control and hydrocarbons. Uh, so there's been an occasional blip, but it, it is on a on a busy road, and there is other sources of, of input to it, obviously. But you're not sampling for zinc anyway. No. Okay. <clears throat> How long would it take you to put together a, a maintenance policy? Uh, <laughs> Today is September 13th. 7.30. And you get to us by, say, 8 o'clock. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would need input from Stormwater Rx to make sure I, I'd want them to review it. Sure. Um, so um, okay. it'd be nice. difficult for me to provide anything by the end of this week. No, that's fine. Um, my, my thought was that if, uh, you know, recognizing that effect, it would take you some time to do this. Um, my suggestion would be if uh, your client agrees, would be just to continue this um, to our next meeting, really for the only reason to um, for us to for you to prepare the policy, submit it to us, and if we have any questions, we can have a very uh, quick hearing okay. the next time in, in two weeks. Is that agreeable to you? It is. Yeah. All right, that was the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. So, That's Sheila, what, what do we have on the agenda October for October 11th? Um, mm -hmm. No, no, no. 23rd. I'm sorry. Look at the wrong. September 27th. 27th. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can't yeah. Give me that one then. <laughs> yeah. um, 27th. Let me see. I don't think I've got anything yet. I've got somebody. Well, I shouldn't say that. We just right. got this file in here. Okay. Well, we, we haven't scheduled the right. first. We've scheduled. So, um, all right. So, can we continue this to 7 p.m. on September 27th? Yeah, fine. Excellent. I, I did have one other comment, if you don't mind. Yeah. Be my guest. <laughs> Allison had asked a question at the last meeting that I didn't answer correctly or fully. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But you had asked about the the, uh, the methodology for the zinc analysis, and it actually is an ICP MS um, procedure, but it's EPA method 200.8 for zinc for, for both total and total. So um, we happen to use Rhode Island Analytical for this work, but that's the method. You don't have any comments, do you? Okay. <laughs> He's our next public hearing. All right. Um, in that case, is there a motion to continue the public hearing in this matter to September 27th at 7 p.m.? I make a motion that we continue the public hearing uh, for cell waste management to September 27th at 7 p.m. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for coming in. Can I ask one additional question? Uh -oh. Well, sure. We'll let you. It's a question. <laughs> Did you anticipate a site visit? Um, you know, we are all familiar with the site. Um, <clears throat> I will tell you that I can't this Saturday because I have a conflict. Um, I mean, I think, um, you know, most of us have been out there. I don't think we need to be out there because, um, uh, you know, there's no intrusion. It's not like you're building something with near a wetland. Um, so I don't see the need for one. Um, you know, I think if, <clears throat> if members of the commission feel otherwise, I mean, we can get in touch with you. Yeah, no, I just want to prepare Paul. And if, yeah, if so, and if just. I haven't been there before. I may just drive by. Sure. Stop in. Yeah. Bring some recycling. I have a whole bunch of boxes. I'm going to take I'm going to Just a comment. Uh, we, you know, we do notify you folks of maintenance on the oil water separator, so I, I think where we're going with this is maybe we can tie that together. Okay. That'll that'll be be great. Great. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank That's you great. for coming in. Thank you. Have a nice night. Yeah, I know that. Right? Yeah, I might contact you. Maybe we can come by and I'll bring my boxes. <laughs> I've been, been packing them up nicely. Uh, just cardboard, you mean? I just have cardboard, yes. Yeah. Good night, thank you. Can you give her the pen? All right, the next item on our agenda is 710 hearing for Prides LLC, a notice of intent for site modifications at um, property located at 781 Southbridge Street and 4 Appleton Road. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Shell, Graves Engineering. Hey, Brian. Um, we are representing our client, uh, Prydez LLC. I wasn't sure how to pronounce it. I'm not quite sure either, so okay. don't hold me to that. <laughs> um, but Deanna Mills is our contact. Okay. Um, her and her daughter Jennifer own um, an existing beauty salon in the town, and um, they purchased these three parcels actually uh, for this project. It's just concerning. 781 Southbridge Street and uh, 4 Appleton Road. And um, they're looking to um, build a parking lot and move their hair salon into this existing building. Um, As I recall, didn't they file a request for termination? Yes. That is correct. Yes. We issued a positive well, what termination. Happened then they ended up having to go to zoning board because it's an amplifier two zone, I believe. Right. Uh, for a special permit, and that prompts them to have to a site plan approval through the planning board. So, okay. yeah. um, I think that was um, Mike Andre did give a written explanation on why it was a so negative. Yeah, it was, a, oh, it was, a, it was a negative, yes. Is there a house there now? There is. Yeah, there's a house in this corner, and then this is the one right next to okay. And they're looking to do which end? Oh. This building right here. Okay, oh, yes, all right. I know. I they're right, right across from me. Yeah. Um, so it was just the corner original. In right. So. Okay, yes. Yes, it was a negative determination. That was before we got involved with the project. And since uh, we started our design work, um, we found that it was going to involve some work in the buffer zone. So Very that's good. That's why we are here today. Okay. okay. This NOI. Um, 
So this work uh, does involve buffer zone impacts um, only, um, and there is no proposed work within the 50 and the 25 foot buffer zones. Um, so just for a little clarity, this is the wetland here that I have in blue, 25, 50, and the 100 foot. Um, it might look like a lot of work, but this is a pretty small area. This is drawn at 10 scale. Um, so just kind of a brief overview. It's 20 spaces, including two out here, two existing parking spots in the front of the building. Um, most of this is existing lawn. Um, however, we are proposing some tree clearing. Um, that would be this area here, hatched out. Um, as I said, all the work is outside of the 50 foot. Uh, we are proposing some sediment erosion controls, hay bale and silt fence, um, and then the 50 foot being uh, staked out and marked with an orange barrier just to make sure that no work does enter that 50 foot buffer. Um, stabilized construction entrance. Some of the key points of the design uh, it is following um, low impact design LID uh, methodologies. Um, so we're just proposing uh, to create the parking area um, such that it drains into a grass swale. Um, and then it's going to be treated with two sediment four bays. And then that's going to enter into a bioretention or a rain garden. For uh, the recharge volume, the required recharge volume, uh, we're proposing collecting roof runoff and piping that into an underground uh, recharge system. Um, pretty small system, it's four chambers, um, just kind of under some of the parking areas. Okay. Um, meets full uh, Mass DEP and town standards for the drainage design. And that's it. Any questions you have? Okay. Any questions on the board? Consider forest pavement at all? Um, we did not consider, because in our experience, it doesn't hold up as well. Um, and it tends to be more expensive. So. It's cheap. So it don't be a problem with snow? Um, you yeah. know, like, I, I know that you said that, I'm trying, I'm trying to see it. So, so this is going to be, a, a swale here, yep. and then this is going to be a garden. So yep. they're pushing the snow into that, right? That uh, should uh, melt away into that swale? Or? Yeah, so what we've proposed on these plans is that this area be reserved for snow. The snow shouldn't be placed in the swale. Okay. And kind of the capacity of it. Um, we've kind of designated these two spaces. Um, and as we say in our plan, that any excess would be taken off site. The excess will be taken yeah. off site? Any other questions? You know, we have been to the site before. Yes. Um, I don't know that we need to go back. Although I certainly would not want to deprive any members of the commission from doing so. So did you see this now? It appears just this little paragraph explain why now they're filing the notice. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, so the narrative in the Okay. Uh, if there are no other questions, and if there is no interest in going to the property for a site walk, is there a motion to close? Motion to close. So moved. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, we will most likely uh, render a decision this evening and you'll be notified. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. That's close as it sounds like. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, right. Control okay. So, okay. So, okay. I'll make a note. So, you see it with the pipe in the wire, right? Yeah. Is it possible to stick around for the decisions? Or? Sure. Is it? I'm, I know, I know I'm thinking yeah. it should be. He wants to stick around for the decision. You know, if he wants to be a glutton for punishment, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, sorry, I should really watch it. Um, okay. No, of course you can stay. That's fine. Okay. We, we have a few more matters to take up. So. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, um, a complaint. I was informed of a complaint. Uh, actually from Sheila back uh, on September 6th relating to some clearing that was taking place at uh, 82 Brown Street. And I had an opportunity to go out there yesterday and I took some pictures and I think you've seen them. If not, uh -huh. okay. uh, this double thing. So I, I will also note that uh, Berlin uh, Street is uh, located um, when did you take it? When adjacent, did you get this? Yesterday. Adjacent to Polly right Way. Yeah, right um, so, in any event, um, I've, I've seen this every day, and I've been, I've been like, meaning to call you guys yeah. on it too. Okay. So. Well, someone uh, who chose to remain anonymous uh, did file a complaint. Okay. And the complaint basically uh, said, and I'll just read it. I'll read what it says. It says Torrell deforestation of the trees from the dwelling to the water. Upper Stoneville Pond, no permits on site, and they also identified the company that apparently did the, uh, the tree removal. So when I went out there yesterday, I actually had a chance to speak to, um, I'm, I'm assuming the wife of the owner, um, and I was advised, um, and I took these, these pictures, she gave me permission to take pictures. Um, to be honest, I didn't see many trees at all. I didn't see any stumps. I was I'm going to tell that. you full on, I was gone while that happened. When I came back, okay. I was like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. They were all gone. Uh, how <laughs> many trees would you say I'm going to say there's at a least time. at least five trees are gone. Okay. And they were all down by the water and there were stump grinders there. I was like, what are you doing? Well, I'm not. like, you can't do that. And then she was like, no, they were all infested with ants. I'm like, what are you doing? Was well, just the corner, Michelle? Exactly where? Yeah, it's right on the corner. Was that? The is that one the, that they the were catching that you, all their cars on the okay, road? Okay, gotcha. So in any event, um, they apparently oh, they also house. yeah yeah they also apparently took some docks down. There were some docks. I mean, there's a um, as you can see from the pictures, there's uh, um, basically a, a big dumpster, and I I peered inside, and there basically it appears to be an old wooden dock or docks that were there. Uh, but like I said, um, I didn't see, I saw a couple of uh, I a think trees. There was a shed down yes, there, so I don't know if the shed, shed is shed gone. Here. I think or yes, the inspector said it was. So in any event, <clears throat> uh, I, asked, um, the, uh, I asked the person there uh, what they were doing. They claimed that they had take whatever work was done. They didn't, didn't, there was no reference or mention of any trees being taken down, but that uh, the intention was to put a lawn into that um, uh, on that property, basically to just, I guess, seed seed uh, the the ground there and, and grow grass. So, and the woman said that she had no knowledge or didn't realize that uh, a filing had to be made with the conservation commission. So, um, it is what it is. We have a complaint. It appears, um, and and in fact, there was an admission that um, that no permit or certainly no uh, permission was obtained from the conservation commission or for that matter, or anyone else before the work was done. So um, I'd like to ask the board how you would like to proceed. I make a motion that we issue an enforcement order. Okay. Yes. I'll second that. All right. And bef well, but before well, we sorry. vote on it, what do you want the enforcement order to say? Should they file a request for determination of applicability or they, should they file a notice of intent? Uh, I know, I I got, know. Michelle. I, got, I think I got, like I got this one. I got this one. I would like to. I would like Go to talk. make a motion that we ask them to fill out a request for determination, okay. along with a narrative description of what, the work, of what they did there, of what they did there, and what they're proposing to do. 
and what they've already done. Okay. And, right. and be in front of this board, obviously. Okay. Sure. So you're absolutely certain they, they cut trees down? Oh, yeah. Okay. We <laughs> looked over there. It was, tr it was trees. <laughs> the, trees yeah. the tree cutting well, company. I understand. I remember when we drove by there. That's when right. I went there, there was no tree like, company there. Because yeah. there was a lot of cars. It was, so I was at Burry Square when I saw them coming down with some trees in them. Well, why didn't you stop them and, and Oh, target? this woman, that I didn't think she wanted to remain anonymous, but I won't say her name, went over to the tree cutters and said, Hey, hey. you know, you've got to go to conservation. Oh, you didn't know anything about that. Right. So, when, as soon as I got back, I was like, oh. She oh, lived across the way. <laughs> She's right around the corner. Right. Well, she could see, it's a huge yeah. clearing. Yeah, yeah. I, we came up the hill and I was like, what is that? Because there used to be trees there and uh, now there's like a about huge About how clearing. far is this property from your house? Ooh. It's right around the corner. It's like it's, right down its Like maybe, two or three house lots? No, no, no. It's right around the corner. So you know when you go around the bend? Right. But which is the bigger issue is when I went down there because I was like they were in it. So they were in it when I stopped there and I was like, You gotta this is I'm like I'm like, you have to get hay bales at least like or mm -hmm. hay straws um they had they had all the people down there like doing like the, they were shaving down the stumps. And I was like, you're putting that in the water. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. I'm like, do you have to get straw bales like now? The stumps were going into the water? Oh yeah. Oh. They're in the <clears throat> water. Do we know the company? Which well, is in material? Uh, I, I've got the name. Well, I've got they the They had just left when I was coming I'm in. Sure. So I don't, but the, the, they were the pulling the owner is going to go to the, is going to the owner of the property. Okay. And um, the property was recently conveyed from a, uh, Fogia or Fogia, F O G G I A real estate LLC to a Joseph Coriglia. So the owner, the named owner now is Joseph Coriglia. Not, Joseph not, not the attorney. Oh, okay. he's, he's dead. No, the other, no, right. Okay, Joseph Coriglia at 82 Brown Street, Norman, Mass. I think he is that realty company. I, he is. Yeah, is he, okay. So, all right, so we've got um, um, a motion. Yep. And uh, is there a second now? Um, I'll second that. When I was I'll losing my mind. They're starting to build a fence too, and I was like, "You can't put oh, a fence up." All right, so so in that case, <laughs> do you, all right before we vote on it, uh, do you want the motion, the enforcement order, to also include a cease and desist? Cease and desist. Cease all and desist. like on the property yeah. until you do what okay. we requested and come yes, in front of this board. And then when do you want them to return? Uh, they come to us on the twenty-seventh. We'll invite them to the meeting on the twenty-seventh. We'll all right. Okay. So. 27. Is there anything else you want to add to the uh, the enforcement order? That's good. That's good. That's good. That's just, yeah, we would strongly suggest that you do these things and and come to our meeting on the 27th. Okay. Or okay. All right. Out. So there's a motion. We've got the the language of the enforcement order. Is there a second? I'll second that now. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. So this is the enforcement order. Yes. I know, I know. And then <clears throat> I received a phone call from uh, Julie Jacobson on Monday. And uh, I sent you an email. Uh, hold on a second. Concerning a proposal uh, basically to convert uh, the Mary D. Stone and Julie Bancroft schools into. Uh, affordable housing, I think 55 and older. Mm -hmm. And so um, there were two, the RFP is pretty voluminous. Um, I didn't open it because I saw the size of the files and I said I'll be here for an hour and I still no. won't have it open. So, but hopefully you did have a chance to read uh, the letter that, um, million resumes. that, Ms., yeah, right, that Ms. Jacobson wrote to the, uh, the Board of Selectmen back on June 12th of 2017 mm -hmm. in which she made a representation or recommendation that um, the bid uh, submitted by Penrose Properties LLC be um, accepted. Now, <clears throat> to the best of my knowledge, I know Mary D. Stone, uh, there are no wetlands near there, and I don't believe there are any wetlands um, um, so close enough to Bancroft uh, to invoke our jurisdiction. I think, but I think what um, Ms. Jacobson would like is basically, um, maybe consensus is not the right word, but 
I think she would like there to be a show of support for the reutilization of these buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking solely for myself, I think um, you know these are valuable assets, and to the extent that um, that this can be redeveloped into housing, including affordable housing, I think it's uh, it's a uh, a good project, and it's something that um, you know, I, speaking solely as an individual, I would be in support of. So uh, I think what uh, what Julie's looking for is just. Um, the support of the Conservation Commission for uh, this proposal, if you are inclined to do that. It, it's, it's a done deal already, is that correct? It's already uh, it's, sold? It's, it's, yeah, it's well, in, 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 in I don't think it's it's close to being done. Okay. I mean, I don't think that there's been a conveyance of the property yet, but I think it's certainly well on its way. Okay. So, Would is you there like a, to write that letter? So. Sure. So, but I, I need to be authorized by the board to do Hey, we uh, authorize you. I, I make I, a motion. Do you know uh, anything if, about if the chairperson is willing to draft a letter of full support of the projects the by the conservation commission? I don't. I, don't. I, what if it's I think. Well, like, like, I think it's it probably because there's probably asbestos in there. Okay. So I probably maybe it was something like that. Because there's a big oil tank out. And maybe to remove that too. Yeah. It's so um, back of the building. Oh. I heard it's going. Yeah. They, and the I guess what they're what they're going to do, as I understand, is they're going to retain the. The sort of the classic English, structures mm -hmm. and and demolish the uh, the additions. There's, and and there's definitely you, you, asbestos involved in those buildings, I'm sure. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. and lead in yeah. all kinds. So they're oh, going to yeah. have to do the, some the, serious remediation. The remedial cost is going to be high. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. you know. It'll be nice. Uh, we don't it's know done. what it's sold for. Yeah. Is that correct? We don't know that. There's a need I for think it. it's right there. There's a need for. I think it's actually. I think it's more than more than there is for like housing for families right now. It's unreal. I'm going to say that I don't know specifically. I think if you really want to know, you can look at the RFPs. You can retire. You know, if you have you know, three, four, seven hours to devote to it. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. You know, if you're so here. Like so and and I, know we, I know some people from a church so that live in the Housing Authority okay. House. Okay. Okay. Right. So anyway, so he was going to make a motion. Not a good place to work. Yeah, you're making a motion to. Yes. And you got interrupted. I did. Okay. You yeah. have to write okay, a letter. That's okay, but it was important. Okay. The chair would like to draft a letter in full support of the project. Yes, but before I ask for that, I'd like to go around and just ask how everybody feels like with a short comment. I'm not, I'm not supported. You're not support? No. Okay. You're not in support of the project? No. Too many units. Too many? I think it'd be a lot of units. For old people? Okay. How many units are there? It doesn't even help us to get our, to increase our capacity for housing. Really? As far as the state. Um, hmm. Well, well you know what? what? It, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't apply to if, it, if it's not a unanimous uh, decision or can, there's then no we consensus, we should no. take a, no, we can take a vote. Okay. Okay. So we need a motion then. It doesn't help. It, all I'm saying is that it does not help elevate our 10% that we're supposed to have as a town for housing. It's okay. not changing that at all, no. Just over 55. Yeah, it doesn't do that at all. I know that for a fact. I don't know how many units are so they're going to be between I, I the buildings. Them, I I'd like to rescind my motion to yes. draft the letter in full support by the board and go from there. Okay, so I, I think the question then should be, um, so is there a motion to support the project? Was it from a conservation commission point of view or just from our general? See, from a, yeah, exactly. A citi yeah. A citizens, maybe? I mean, I'm again, is, more it, is, slash citizens. is there something they could do to contribute to that time? I don't know that. I know that that is put um, up by the town planner, that that is not really? adding to our percentage of increase for housing. I thought that's that was support. the only reason they were doing it. Was yeah, because that's why I was in support because I, I know there's a big need for it. Was it's not meeting, really going to. They talked about it and she said that was why they went with the 55 and older. But I could just tell me Would you feel better about it if there was a presentation made by Ms. Jacobson or someone else? Yes, I would have a joint town planner is where I got the information. All right. Yep. I feel better about that. Okay. So why don't we do this then? Okay. Why don't maybe a suggestion to a request Mapanoi to address us at the next meeting to discuss mm -hmm. the merits? He's out for two weeks. Yeah, he oh, won't be so coming back for a 25th. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Okay. That's the 27th. Come back. He's going to be back to that. <laughs> I know it. So, but no, I, I recognize mm -hmm. in all seriousness, I mean, I think if you have concerns, and since I'm not in a position to answer the questions, I think uh, it's it's a fair point. So okay, I, I certainly that. could be wrong, no, it, but this no, was not what I had heard a couple times. Years, and if he clarifies that for me, that's fine. So, yeah, but the amount of units might be so they can keep it lower. Yeah, there were a lot of units. I don't know exactly the number. I'm yeah, sorry. it was like a hundred. And, and, and both. 
So, it's what, I'm looking, empty seems silly what too. I'm looking for Just is a wanting. motion you know to, I mean? to invite yeah. Mr. Benoit to uh, uh, sure. attend our next meeting to discuss uh, the project. So moved. I make my bidding good job. <laughs> is there a second? I'll second that. Is there a discussion? Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Okay, I'd like to clarify if that's correct. And we can put that on for 9. 915 on, on I'm sorry. Who's 715? 715 on 927. Sheila, <laughs> 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 you're doing 10 minutes. I don't want to ask him to stay that late. Sheila, are you doing 10 minutes still? Yes. Or 15 minutes. So what about 10? Okay, we'll put him on at 710 then. Okay, okay cool. So good. I'm glad you were listening. <laughs> that got your attention. It did. All right. <laughs> you did that for that reason. Uh, not really. Uh, I'm <laughs> glad you were listening when I said October. <laughs> Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> so, right. so, with respect to the notice of intent for Prides or Prides, I like Prides better. I like Prides. Okay. Prides. Um, prides. 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 Okay, here, a big sigh. Yeah. yeah, I was ready for this one. Yeah, come on. No, I'm not ready for this one. It's time to step up. All right. Oh, Tom's ready. All right, I'm ready. I got it. Has everybody got their own? I'll just, I'll just look over. All right. Michelle? Yeah, Michelle. Awesome. Pardon? Would you like to give it a shot? What am I giving a shot? Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 so a standard order of conditions uh -huh. plus one, two, three, and uh -huh. yeah, that's five, five. six. Yeah. Don't believe there's any group yeah. Eight. 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 Um, oh, I think that would be within the hundred. Mm. Yeah, be, that it? whole that whole lot's basically in the hundred. So it's in the hundred. Oh yeah, yeah. It is. So um, can those two spots get moved to outside? Mm -hmm. It's outside of the city. Over there? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip over that. Yeah, no, I'll get it. Okay. Um, so we we'll get the one so far. Um, Eleven. Yeah, it can move it up. Eleven. Right, right, right. Thirteen. And also a special condition that snow. Look at that. So right now the snow, two spots is within yeah. the 50 yeah. and the 100. Yeah, right. There so are spots yeah. outside of the 100 yeah. if we wanted to. Yeah. 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 No, not, no, ten. Sorry, not ten. No, not nine. Not nine. I want to keep our nine, that but we have to condition this so that it's not within. The, that's the fifty right yeah, there. Yeah. Right. Most of this is in the. So why not just the corner? Why not require that snow um, be stored um, outside the hundred foot buffer zone? Yeah. So okay. So plants up, make the house up, and also condition mm -hmm. that snow be mm -hmm. removed, kept out of the hundred foot. Well, then would we just put nine in there then? No. Right. Oh. Well, you're saying the snow has to be kept out of the 100 foot bucket? Yeah, that's fine. We'll put it in there. So it is the same, right? Yep. So it's not a special condition now? Yeah, it's not. We'll just okay. add nine. Nine, eleven, thirteen. All right, so uh, standard order plus special conditions one, two, three, five, eight, nine, eleven, and thirteen? Yep. Yep. That's right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Five and six are just a disreplication. Okay, six so does mm -hmm. not use five. Okay, so it's one, two, three, five, eight, nine, eleven, and thirteen. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. Is there a second? Second that. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. 
All right. You're all set. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Brian. The whole thing was in the box. So I'm like, they're not going to knock. No, 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 no. And but the thing is. Whenever you have a company coming in to do stone removal, they look at me and go, oh, well, the water's here, we'll put it over there. And it's like, oh. Did, did you do minutes for the last meeting? I didn't think so, because I didn't see him. I know, I was looking for them, too. Oh, uh, I, I, I told I you that was right. It reminds me of what we did the last time, too. I get hit with six hearings for zoning. Six. Oh, okay. And planning board. That's fine. I really didn't want to go over them anyway. <laughs> and then Matt's out. All right. So it's just Ex excuses, excuses. I know. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna hold on to everyone I've got. Let That's me fine. just find an order of conditions for you guys okay. to sign. Okay. Excellent. What is that? Monday night, six eight. Mm. Uh, Drop it. Okay. Yeah. Dropping Here we go. Right. I had some. Okay. How was your trip, by the way? Did you recover yeah, from your right. illness? Yep. So a few more tests, but yeah, I'm good. Good. What is this? Which is the How's that? This is a lot. <laughs> and aside from your close encounter with the non That's what happens. Shark, What's yeah. the um, what that? Happen? I got, I got over 30 hours. Uh, Today's Wednesday. I've got over 30 hours in a work. I saw an owl. I was taunting. I mean, a barking bird that was taunting an owl. You're lucky you the beginning. The saws on the first one. It's the old It's the old You learned it. NASCAR movies, we saw the saddleback tortoises, regular tortoises, we swam with like 300 green turtles. And they're huge, right? The tortoises are huge. They're huge. Yeah. And they'll, snap your, yes, they'll take yeah. your finger off. Yeah, we didn't get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we saw blue herons, um, lava herons, gold-headed herons. It was just, it was like, oh, oh, the marine iguanas are the coolest things oh. in the whole world. The like, iguanas. they're huge. Yeah. And they're like, huge. just, like, 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 they don't like spit. Huge. They like <laughs> sneeze out salt at you all over the place. They're, they're, they're everywhere the on this one island. They're and dragons. they just, like, they're all like, Sneezing out salt water, right? <laughs> it's like they, it looks like they're spitting at you all the time. Uh -huh. yeah, it was awesome. So they're in the water and on land? Yeah, they swim. And then they come up on land to they eat the algae of the water and then they sunbathe up on land. Wow. And we saw lava lizards and we saw like yellow ones, pink ones. That's amazing trip I've ever taken. That's great. Life. That's good. Is That's there any uh, Darwin's Lake other business? Uh, no, I make a motion that we uh, adjourn. Yeah. And I'll second that. No. Okay. Adjourned. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. All right. All right. Thank you, everyone. I have a vote.